Let's try this again. That's the engine for the um, log processor. I got a build for it. Cuts down 16 inches. I'm having a really rough day. Everything I touch keeps breaking. There's the good old tractor. There's Tom again. More tractors out back. Bunch of Troy's um, tractors. This one here is actually mine. I gotta get parts for it. Don't got the money for the parts, but it's a Craftsman Sears or Craftsman um, Snapper Lawnmower. Steering gear is bad. I know, Tom, you want attention. This is for doing fire. This is going to be for firewood. This is a conveyor belt. I think this one was normally used for hay, but we're converting it to firewood. And that's the old mill site. That's Troy's personal workshop for doing small engines. As you see, I cleaned up a lot of stuff out here. I'm the only one working out here today since Troy had to take care of internet stuff. We got crappy DSL internet out here, so it keeps going down, and they're upgrading the system, so that's what he's we literally hasn't been able to get on for three months, or four months now, something like that, and as you can see, the pile's gotten smaller, I've been burning a lot of the, um, craft wood and then we just got our first dumpster Tom you gonna kill me here buddy I know you want attention, but I can't right this second. So, I've been working mostly in the bedroom, in the back. This is sketchy right here. This is just two by sixes and paneling. Almost fell through it once already, so I gotta switch it out to the steel door for my shop. Yeah, I'm not messing around putting a fire door on. This way, it's not easy to uh, just open. Because we do have troll problems, as I have said. And well, they keep screwing around over here. I will, they will be dealt with. And I'm never far from tools, as you can see. So I'm always working on something or other. And then, with all the crap up gutted so far. Me and Troy. She did a lot of this room. I'm just starting. I ripped down some of this wall here. 
Okay, I finish this wall tomorrow. Right now, it's all business on my side, so. But this thing's gonna be going soon. I got that ripped off. Got this wall all open. This one will be all open tomorrow. And now, on to the back. Sorry, it's hard to grab stuff with a tripod in your hand. Right now I'm being careful because I don't feel like falling through that hole again. My legs aren't too aren't too good. Right now this floor is real rotted, so I kind of got to watch it. And nails. And I got... I'm real shaky coming down these steps, so... That's the other thing. Thunder Bay Sanitation. If you need a dumpster in Michigan, very nice guy. I'm not sure if he was the owner or which deal was. But the guy, this is like the second time we dealt with him. That driver, and he's a real nice guy. I like him. Very polite. Right now, it's, you know, they say a couple days, but it takes more than that. But due to the virus, you can't hold that against the poor guy. Especially since they're, they are a small business, so. And they're being slammed, so. Because right now, no regular trash is picking up, so. It's either a dumpster or nothing. Yeah, the wood splitter's down. I can't get to start. I don't have a spark, good spark tester. Motor's bad on it. We gotta rebuild it, so I think it might have had its last, last run. We gotta find out. Um... The Ryobi, damn thing won't start for me, but starts for Troy. And unfortunately, he's not here, so I can't get that running today. Yesterday, Troy start. I couldn't do it because my neck's killing me. And then the string broke, the shut off, and then I couldn't get to restart. Like I said, that's just because of my body and stuff. And plus, not sleeping is not helping. I can't find the spark plug socket I need because everything's such a mess. This is what I get left so far. Working on more as soon as I can get the log splitter running. Like I said, this pile here, I'm going to stack it inside for drying. I'm working in the back to process some firewood for myself and cutting stuff down and throwing the burn pit because I don't like stuff just too long. There's the old trusty trimmer mower. I gotta get a service manual on it. Can't get spark for nothing. I think. It needs either a new coil uh, or it needs an adjustment. And I don't know what the uh, specs are. 
I don't know how to do it. I just don't know what the specs are. Or the magnets suck get weak because the ma um, magnets do get weak over time. And right now, this is my firewood processing area. It's just a cheap um, Chicago electric miter saw. Having a little issues with that, with the uh, brushes I need to clean. That's what I got processed for my wood soap so far today. This is what I got so far for firewood and stickers. This is my good old battery charger. I want to start, I want to hot wire this thing today. That's why you see it bypassing the battery and stuff. Starter's bad. So like I said, I'm having trouble pulling stuff. And then the stool's just it's like sit down and work on it. Oh yeah, I told you I was going to modify the wheels on this. So they stay straight now. And then how I modified it. It was very, very simple. Not my greatest work, but hey, that's what I had to work with. Two hose clamps and a piece of wood. I just wrapped around the axles so they can't move back and forth. And now it stays right where I want. So I'm going to set the camera up and I'll let you watch me process firewood like an animal. And these are going to be what's called stickers for, um, process, for putting underneath um, boards after we mill them so they can properly air dry so they kill them dry and quick and sloppy. And this is my relaxing chair, so when I need to take a break, I can sit down. I always got a chair around somewhere, because right now I'm not doing too good. But, you know, my health is what it is. It sucks, it pisses me off. And plus, I haven't had a cigarette in two days now, so... I'm getting really, really irritated, and that's going against doctor's orders, because I'm not supposed to be being irritated, stressed, and find a way to relax, which is pretty much impossible in my life, because it's not going to be allowed. I'm trying, though, but... You know, it's being made hard on me. And this is all... I'm not sure what that's for. I think they were using it for... Um... Processing deer after hunting. And that's... All wood I gotta clean up. I'll use this firewood, but... You know, I just wanna clean the property up. And plus, all this high grass around is a danger to me from tripping and stuff, so. I need to get mowed, but, like I said, right now it's, I'm waiting on help, so not much I can do about it. Sit and wait. I gotta put the camera down for a second. So I get this tripod leveled out. Because I don't edit video. So what you see is what you get with me. I 
I hope everybody's doing good out there. Tonight I'm not working all night. Tonight I'm gonna, I gotta stop. I got irritated last night and so I pushed myself to the breaking point again. And I'm paying for it. Like I said, I'm not the smartest person in the world. But that I never claimed to be. What the hell did I do wrong last time? Tripod doesn't even want to play nice. Now it doesn't want to lock set straight anymore. Yeah, I bought you, so. It is what it is. It's an oldie. But it was a good one back in the day. I hate tripods at times. Like the new ones. With the little blocks in them. This one kind of flips up and. The screw doesn't like to go in right. right now there we go I know this machine stuff uh, fell down. I need to find someone to help me do video. As you can tell, I'm not very good at it. But I am good at processing. Like I said, it's going to be on an angle a little bit, but right now there's not much I can do. Here's my war. I'm actually trying to drink water, so...
haven't been drinking too much. I've been stressed out, sick. So when I'm sick, I can't drink because I literally throw it up. So there's not much I can do. Or it's too cold out and my body just rejects it. So I just take tiny little sips. I mean, most two-year-olds eat and drink more than I do. Hey, Tom, you having fun over there? Yeah, it's taking me a couple minutes to get up. I'm in so much pain right now. Try it. Body's not happy about it, but... Yeah, I'll have to learn to live with it. I'm looking for. Yeah, I lost a jacket with money in it. I think it's in shop. I don't know anymore. Like I said, it hasn't been a good day. About to get loud, guys. Lost my glove. Due to the fact that the um, wood stove in the back of the shop is actually a coal stove that I'm using as a wood stove, it can only take small little 8 inch pieces. So every piece I chop has to be no longer than 8 inches. And I grabbed some coal for it too.
guys over here we can get a better view of what I'm doing. Should have thought of that before. This way you're not looking at my back. Like I said, my brain's pre fried today. I never allow my hands near the blade. me today. You know how it is. When you're not feeling good, something's always gonna fight you.
I process them down smaller. This way they're easier to cut. <laughs> If you don't, it gets heavy and tries to pick up on you. Fix that. I don't like that. Guide's not coming back. Safety's not coming back down. Good way to lose a hand. So if th that ever happens to you guys, don't use the saw. Get it repaired. But since I'm a moron, I'm gonna be doing it anyways. Please, kids, don't ever do this shit. You don't want to be called stumpy the rest of your life. Because fingers and hands don't grow back. Once you lose them, that's forever. tonight it is gonna get cold you see you can see your breath already <laughs> not right now but at night inside work now. Once I get inside I'll you know I'll show you guys some more video. I'll show you how much I just got done. Getting to the point I can't stand it anymore so I'm gonna listen to my 